Hello LEGO fans, Adult Fan of LEGO UK here and welcome to this review of another Star Wars 2014 set. This is the Death Star Troopers Battle Pack. So this is set 75034, it's for ages 6 to 12. It comes with a piece count of 100 exactly. Um, and it retails here in the UK for £11.99 at the LEGO store or the LEGO store online. So, let's take a quick look at the box. Okay, so here we can see... Let's bear get some light the box. So, there's the front of our box. There, you can see the set number, Death Star Trooper 7503 Thor. You can see there, the scene on the front. Okay, and on the rear, some of the features. This comes with the new blasters, and I'll show you those in a second. Which again, we can see there. New blasters come with 10 of the translucent red studs. Okay, so that's our box. Quick look at the instructions. Small instruction manual as you'd expect um, from a battle pack, um, only 100 piece count. Main thing obviously is uh, the four minifigures. There's the rear. Inside we've got our sets from the 2014 winter range and our minifigures that come in that particular wave. There's more information there, we can see there some of the um, features and again the new blaster. Um, inventory on one page there and we have 22 pages of build. And there we can see our minifigures, so that's our instruction manual. Okay, so there we can see a closer look at the set, the four minifigures, the Death Star laser cannon, um, and I'll show you the features on that in a second. Um, I think this is a pretty cool little battle pack. Um, love the Death Star laser cannon, I think it does look really cool. Um, and obviously some great minifigures there, so let's go on and uh, take a closer look at the laser cannon. Okay, so a closer look at the laser cannon. Okay, so first of all, obviously the actual laser cannon itself can go up and down. And we have this seat here, which does spin. I'll show you the minifigure sitting in that in a second. Um, obviously, we have these on the end here. These do not come out, although there is a flick fire missile on here, which is this one. And just take you around it. Okay, obviously small set, not much to look on it on it. And the only real feature I guess is the fact that it does that. Have this piece here, and this is how we operate the flick fire missile. So simply all we do as opposed to flicking, it's not one of these ones as a push mechanism. So if you watch carefully, you would have seen that flick out then. So that's pretty much it for the Death Star laser cannon. I mean it's only a small thing, but I just I just personally like the look of this. I think this could be, um, go well in a uh, mox. Um, so there we go. Let's have a look at the minifigures. Okay, so first up we have our Imperial Royal Guard. Let's take a look at him there. I have two of these in this set. So just remove that from there. that piece that's just a light bluish grey tube and this black hilt piece there <coughs> okay so hopefully we can see there the front torso printing have we got anything on the rear Cape up there has no rear torso printing. Obviously, it comes with this red cape. Okay, remove the helmet. 
and you can see it's just a standard black minifigure head. Get a better look at that torso print in there, and obviously the Imperial Guard red helmet. So that's our Imperial Guard minifigure. And like I said, there are two of those in this set. Okay, next up we have the Death Star Gunner. And again, there are two of these in this set. Um, we can see there the new style blaster that comes with some of the sets. Some of these new 2014, Winter 2014 Star Wars sets. Just going to remove that and I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, you can take a look there. You can see the front torso printing. And the rear torso print in there. Okay, really, really cool helmet. And there is some printing on the helmet too. Okay, so just remove the helmet. And there we can see the minifigure's face. And it's just single sided. See, there he has this uh, communication headpiece there and mic. Again, pretty cool looking minifigure, and I love the helmets that come with these two. So, like I said before, there are two of these. Just want to come back to <coughs> this new style blaster. You can see there, so this actually comes in three separate pieces. You have the main black piece, this grey piece here, which is the trigger mechanism, which just slots into the top. And then obviously the um, translucent red stud there. So to fire this, I'm probably going to lose this now. We just simply push that down and hopefully you will see this um, shoot out. There we go, so that's simply how it fires there, hopefully you can see the mechanism there and how that actually works. So that is our new blaster. And then with regards to reloading, it's just simply a case of taking the stud and pushing it back in to the end there. So I'll just show you again that firing. And again, all we do is pushed down like so and it shoots out so looks like I managed to lose two of those already um, but hey okay guys there you can see the Death Star Gunner um, obviously now in his seat operating the Death Star laser cannon okay so that's my review of this set complete um, I think it's a great little battle pack. I'm sure it's going to be very, very popular um, with, well, pretty much with, with all age groups, really. I think it's a great little set, some good little fun and playability on it. You can see here there are a number of additional um, studs for the new blaster weapons. It says it comes with 10. There's actually a spare one in there, so it does actually come with 11. Um, and I suspect you will need those because I can see these getting lost behind lots of furniture etc when um, particularly younger kids start playing with these but it's quite a cool little function makes it you know a lot more playability but anyway guys that's it um, please go ahead please do give this video a thumbs up if you have liked this video uh, feel free to give any comments um, down in the comments section if you haven't done so already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then I will see you in the next video cheers